looking famous, let me not look famous, because I don't want y'all to get all excited that somebody famous is here. Hold that one. Don't let them First of all, let me profoundly and profusely apologize, okay? I'm apologizing, well, basically for myself, because I have failed you as part of the uh, International Students Association what an Executive Committee. Hmm? I have failed you because the things I wanted to do couldn't get done. The committee, in my estimation, I'm not speaking for the committee, did not do what we were supposed to do. So I just want you to know that. In fact, it was like a t-shirt committee. Oh, I'm sorry, with a committee. It was like a polo shirt committee. So the next committee, please, please, do not just do it for the t-shirt. As many of you know, that was first day, they wanted me to be president. And I didn't want to do that, because I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a worker, you know? So I accepted this thing as the public relations something, 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 and recruitment officer, I forgot what it was. Because I haven't done the job, so I don't know what it was. I tried to do the job, but it didn't get done. Anyway, that's Master Kipoli. He's from my, my research group down in Dubai. Uh So I just have to say that. And uh, one other thing. Ubuntu does not exist in a vulture capitalist society, okay? I just want you to know that. I say that because somebody owes me some money, and they think they're going to do the Ubuntu thing, it ain't going to happen, right? <laughs> okay. Oh, well, well, while, I'm on this, while I'm on this rant, let me just say this. Our next election, let me suggest, our next election, let us have the positions known and have at least a week for people to campaign and we can find out what's going on. That's all I want to know. This popularity contest where somebody that looks like they should be president should not happen next time. Great. And I'm not running for president. I'm not running for anything. In fact, remember, we have country representatives. And since I'm the only one from the United States of North America, I'm the country representative. <laughs> so y'all got to get together, your country representatives, because we, gotta, we have to function. I would rather work with the country representatives than to do anything else. OK, great. Now I'll start. Now, oh, 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 by the way, Quinta wrote a while back uh, that the coffee app hour was established, or this platform was established. By the way, I like this better than that, that Senate chamber. I'm going to tell you why I don't like the Senate chamber. <laughs> they have all those colonialists looking down on us, and I hate that. Anyway, back to the point. <laughs> now, the, the coffee hour was established to promote interna internationaliz internationalization. Right? And that this is where with a mix of international students and you know, like homes, you know, people from South Africa and all over the country and all over, all over the continent and all over the world come together. Right? Now we, we're supposed to, to uh, uh, discuss academic and social issues on any global issue. That means that you have to your country you, you have to know something about your country and then we're supposed to share, right? Um, now, this also means that, uh, that the academics uh, are, are, are can be invited to the, to the coffee hour. We have some folks from East London that, that, that teach you know, in the philosophy department, stuff, stuff like that. Now, I say all that, let me give you, let me give you an example. Right now in Cameroon, I read, I read, or not, I read someplace that uh, uh, the Cameroonian forces that were trained by American forces or French forces and on their bases, there's bases there, uh, they're fighting Boko Haram, but the Cameroonian forces, I'm, not just, I'm, just, I'm, just, well, I'm just reporting what I read, okay? They, uh, they did some, some atrocious, they, had some, they tortured people, <laughs> uh, you know, all kinds of things. So it's, it's, it's an atrocity there. Now, so if the Cameroonian people, if the Cameroonian representative would say, hey, we need to help write letters or whatever have you, then we should be doing that. But then I would look, I would say, you know, guess what? I have a problem because Right now in Africa, my country, which I love dearly, I love the flag, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, what we've done since 2008, in 2000, before Barack Obama, you know, you all know, love Barack Obama, great, the son of the soil, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> anyway, what, before he, when he first came into office, right, there was one, one, counted one American base in Africa. It was in Djibouti. Djibouti, where is Djibouti at? Right there, that was the American base, right? Now, from the time he got in to for eight years, 
They've been building the American presence in bases from the Seychelles all the way over to Senegal. Hey, good, you didn't do the comedy. But this, you see that trench? You see that, that? That means they've divided militarily. Now remember, China is here economically. You know, so they're building their roads. When they dig, they find some diamonds, they might take it out. I don't know. Anyway, they're doing that. America's here with their military. France never left, England never left. So basically, we as international students, what's our responsibility? We're supposed to talk about this, and we're not supposed to be uh, uh, military. Wait a second, let me ask something. Who in this place has served in the military, any military in their country? Just raise your hand. Raise your hand if you served in the military. No one? I'm the only person that was in the United States Air Force for four years, no one? Oh, then you don't know what soldiers do, do you? It's a bad thing. Uh, that's all I can say. Anyway, back to the point. So this kind of thing we can discuss. Now, to make things a little lighter, because I know y'all don't want to deal with heavy stuff, maybe. So let's, let's just go on, because I'm going to finish up here. One of the things we should be doing, we, we can do, we can, um, you know, we, we, there's a, for instance, there's a, a, a in, uh, what's that, in King, there's a thing called German clothing. They sell clothes real cheap. Well, we, should, we should be able to take a bus ride there from the beginning of the semester, they'll buy some clothes so we can look good, and then, you know, come on back. Back, talk about buying clothes. We're Africans. Where's, where's, the, where's, where's, the, where's the duds of your nation? Where's the duds of your nation? Now, my wife is South African, so she made this for me. So I'm, I'm authentic, right, from, from her. But I want to see some, some colors, you know. There's going, to be a, there's going to be a movie coming out called Black Panther. Now, Black Panther has a, a, a fictional country. It's called Wakanda. Does it, anybody know what I'm talking about? Oh, let me explain this to you. Um, I'll tell you what, uh, Mr. Coley, just move over there so I can talk to the people. Right, right, right. Look, here's the thing. Wakanda is a fictional African country. And the premise is this, that they have this thing vibrating. They had a precious metal, right? And everybody wants this precious, they don't know, everybody, well, people want, people about one question but everybody thinks that this will kind of back African nation, right? Food, stuff. They think that's what it is. But it's not so. It's the most advanced civilization, the most advanced nation of civilization on the planet. It's a comic, okay? So this movie is coming out next February. Okay, the movie's coming out next February. It's going to cause us an incredible sensation. The movie features uh, African people of the African sort of normal and like somebody from, say, say Uganda, she goes to Germany, there's a lot of English, you know, English people, there's a lot of people from, people from Brazil and also from, uh, from Central America, uh, from, from the States, all over Africa. John Kleiner from South Africa is here, he's in the movie, his son is in the movie, that kind of thing, okay? So, with this, we should, we should have a trip to East London, when it's there, and see this film. And then come back and talk about it because it represents all of this for all the people in, in, uh, in the world that, that, they, that, that came from Africa. Now, let's do this. Because this is so different. I see y'all just sitting here, not doing nothing, and just say, oh, boy, there, there goes Brother Stone going off again, you know, and he says, you don't want this. That's fine. Let's do an exercise. Let's do an exercise. We're going to do the Wakanda salute. We're going to do the Wakanda salute. It doesn't exist in time. I'll make sure that. Then we're going to change Wakanda to something else. Here's how we do it. Here's how we do the Wakanda salute. Women, women, following me. Women, you're going to say, was kind. Ready? Women, let's go. With your, with your, with your, with your, with your left hand, hand close to your heart. Women, don't be shy. Huh? Under your hand. Under your hand. Ready? Women. Try again.
Then you should do this. Walk, come, duck. Okay, women, you ready? 